What's up guys and welcome back to another one of G.I. Joe Fanatics. So I hope you enjoyed my last one that I did. The last one was the um the kind of the uh the bunch of the uh the, the gear the gear lots that we did. Uh there's a bunch of uh, gear and stuff like that that we uh that we uploaded uh and I think I did mention that I, I was gonna get a uh, big lot of World War Two stuff. Uh there's not much for the intro for that one. Um this entire box that uh you see you can't see the entire link of it but we'll get it in the frame this entire box is absolutely full of jadjo world war ii stuff uh mostly world war ii stuff i picked this up from ebay so uh let's not spend too much on the intro hey let's just dig right into it and you guys are going to be right here with me for this one so stay tuned let's get this down on the floor so i can uh get it cut open and for this one we do got my handy dandy exacto knife so it shouldn't be a problem at all oh, one cut right there got the top off and we got this part open and this part open I wish I could uh, could uh, show you this part um, it's just a bunch of paper and stuffing so let's just get the the paper stuffing out the way and then we'll get into the uh, actual stuff here got some newspaper uh, let's get that thing out the way. I'm, I'm currently uh, redoing my room and stuff like that right now, so there's not a lot of room, and I usually do it over there. Uh, but this is the only area I got for this. So, all right, guys. Right off the bat, I am seeing got some more bubble wrap, and right off the bat, just by just just looking at it, just like right off the bat here, I'm just gonna pull two items out here. Uh, we'll we'll do we'll do three. Why not? Why not? We'll do three. We have two bags here two jumbo size bags and they're absolutely full of uniforms I'm talking like uh, I get World War two of course I see a I see a German uniform right here um, and a d-day one. I just want to pull this d-day one out uh, to get a look at it right there we got a nice d-day uh, jacket right there that would go over and we got the pants uh, and the jacket and everything else with it right here so I mean this thing is just plumb full of uh, World War II clothing you got another German soldier there and something very rare I see a cloak or I guess you could say a slicker and black pants with that so that only means one thing and I did see it right here guys very hard to find very rare to find an SS uniform right there that'll go great with my other one there that's the red and the black and it looks like he's got uh, a lot of metals and he also has the iron cross uh, metal it's actually decorated with some metals on that so that is super super nice let's get that back in there uh, I will do a video of all of these clothes uh, just a separate video of the uh, just clothes lot so we can, we can actually see what uniforms I got. But just looking at that, we have a bunch of uh, infantry, uh, U.S. infantry and German infantry, plus the SS outfit in this bag here. Um, this one right here is also, looks to be, uh, we got a lot of things in here. Some things are even the individual. Let's pop this open real quick and take a look at what we got. And these things are in individual bags as well. Uh, we got a Waffen uh, uniform right there. Separated with its outfit. That is great. Um, let's see here. We've got... What is this? Uh, okay, that's fine. That's a D-Day uh, uniform right there. Uh, we got some German infantry. We got a lot of clothes in here. Just a lot. This is mainly just clothes. This is all clothes right here, guys. I will have to do uh, to serve uh, to serve justice to the clothes. We're gonna have to do a separate video, and that looks like we've got a uh, a patch in there. So that looks like a 20, 20, 21st infantry uh, U.S. uniform right there. That is nice. It's got the patch in it right there. You can see, kind of, sort of. Sorry about the lighting, guys. But uh, this is just absolutely packed full of clothes. We will, look, to do these clothes, uniforms justice, I will do a entire separate video of just the clothes because there's so many outfits in here, and I don't know if we'll be able to get to each and every one of them. And these uniforms are very unique and very nice quality, and I was thankful and grateful to obtain these. Uh, I want to do them a little bit of better justice, so I would like to do a separate video of just the uniform, so keep that in mind, guys. 
but these two bags are full of uniforms right there and we got a big lot bag here it looks like we may have some more uniforms but I am seeing something else in here that is definitely catching my eye I see sandbags something that's so hard to find we got some sandbags right here and these may have been uh, separately ordered but we got like multiple sandbags in here um, this looks like a maybe a tent or a tarp it might be a tarp that's awesome uh, what is this this looks like a up oh, yep it's like a tent or a tarp that is really nice and we've got we've got a bunch of those in there Wow along with these sandbags and these are some tarps and stuff like that US and German that'll go great with our flak done that is nice so we got some tarps and everything in there of this camouflage and then we got an orange kind of tarp got all these multiple just full of these sandbags in there as well that is just awesome we'll have to separate some of this stuff right here into uniforms and all that stuff like that because I have a giant box over here that has everything labeled so I don't lose anything um, let's get this out of the way and I kind of want to look at this next I do want to look at this next so we'll set that on the side and it looks like I'm not a hundred percent sure what is this Oh, we got a foot locker and it's got stuff inside of it. So let's check that out. We got her upside down, so let's flip her the proper way. I'm excited. This is like a box within a box. It's like Christmas because I have no idea. The only thing I've seen is the picture. And this foot locker as well is packed full of stuff. So let's just sit this right here so we can open this up together, man. Wow, man. I am just... Wow. Everything is just... This is stuff is like... This came from a real collection. It has to. Because we got some extra buttons here. In a bag for clothes. So we got buttons and everything here. Wow. That'll go with the clothes. We've got uh, some trench... We got a trench shovel. We got some trench shovels up in here. Uh, we got a STN uh, 44 removable clip as well uh, 21st century edition so we got a weapon in there to, uh, STN 44 it looks like we got a uh, that looks like it's weird because it's got the flag on it so that could be a German cap hmm we'll set that aside and we'll try to uh, get everything uh, like uh, like gear wise into its own little category while we're doing this we have a, another shovel, so let's keep those two together. We have different trench shovels up in here. We've got a grenade launcher. Uh, uh, what is this? A uh, Vorsteshi? Vorsteshi or something like that? I can't pronounce that, but it's definitely German. But uh, it's 21st century, I'm pretty sure. If not dragon, this stuff could be between, it's between dragon and 21st century. So that is really nice. We got a launcher over here. Let's keep that right there. What else do we got in here, man? Looks like we got a police force shotgun. And this thing, no way. No way. This thing actually pumps, guys. The shotgun actually pumps. No way. That is so nice. Okay, let's keep our weapons. Let's try to keep our weapons together. And I'm not sure what this is. This looks like... No way. Are these pieces of body parts? If this is pieces, like, no, not real, not real, not real, not real. I'm just saying for like displays, we got like a dude's face in there. I don't know if you can see that. It's really creepy, but we got a dude's face up in there. Like this is great for my stop motion uh, videos, man. Like this is this is like we got a heart and we got like some organs and stuff like that. This man went to a different figure, but if it didn't, and this is gonna, this is great for like. Uh, like movie props and stuff like that. We gotta keep that aside, man. That is so that is so neat. We got a uh, uh, gun belt there. We got uh, this to go with the clothing. That's the little strap, and it looks like we got a 
pair of nice leather SS boots. Uh, do we have any boots category over here just yet? No, but we'll drop this German boot in that boot because I have a bag of boots that I keep just in case I get a soldier that does not have uh, clothes or anything like that. So uh, I'll actually set that right there. Uh, things that I know that I can keep here. We got some more shoes. We got some more shoes up in here. Uh, we got some more gear, like a lunchbox. We'll keep that with the canteen. Uh, what is this? Uh, another pouched gear. Uh, it says it's uh, MP40 pouches. Wow, man, this stuff's this. Can it get any better than this? Like the stuff is labeled. Uh, we may have to break this uh, into two pieces if we don't. If we if we don't have to break this video up into two pieces, that would be great. But uh, if we have to, that's still perfectly fine. Um, that looks like that goes on a uh, uh, j j like a like a U.S. Uh, D-Day. It's kind of like a uh, garment type thing. We'll keep that with our clothes. Man, looks like we got a stand, Soldiers of the World. That's pretty cool too. Uh, we'll sit that down right here. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. Oh man, we got mags for the MP40s. We got mags, dude. No, getting way, man. I'm just, I'm super. I, I'm like, absolutely like, hysterical, man. Like this stuff right here. Oh my god, that smells like fresh leather, though. That's so weird. Uh, looks like we got a, a a bag of little grenades, man. Like this is. Oh, this, I am in heaven right now. Like, guys, this is the ultimate collection. Like, I'm just, this, it's like Christmas for me, man. Like, I have never, ever gotten a lot this nice. This has to be the absolutely top ten lot. And to the gentleman that I got this from, sir, I will take great care of this stuff. This is going to a great cause. This stuff is actually going to be in a museum. It might be played with a little bit to get the use out of it, but, uh, definitely some stop motion movies made with it and then we end up in a museum that I'm currently working on so all this stuff is just I, I can't ask for anything better I'm beyond thankful for this stuff we got some grenades uh, we will keep we need to make a grenade bag um, I think I have uh, I may have a grenade bag I think we keep that in our explosive areas we do have an explosive uh, gear bag so We'll keep our knickknacks and stuff like that over here, like our gear, because I have bags that's labeled. Uh, we had a German hat, a uh, cat, Waffen cap. That's so nice. This is all this stuff is nice. Like I am talking like nice, nice. We've got a. Is this seriously real tin? This is real tin. This is a fuel barrel, and it's got. German writing on that. If any of you guys know German, uh, uh you can't really see it because of the light. Maybe if I turn off the light for a second. I'm not really sure if you can see that. Ah, uh, we got a light in there. Alright, that is so nice. We got a barrel up in here. Um, we got some explosives. We'll keep that with the explosive bags. Uh, we got a mortar. Where you stomp that, you could throw it, or it would go down into a into a thingy, my thing. Uh, let's keep that in this bag of explosive just for right now. And I'm gonna have to move the video over to here in just momentarily. Oh, what, we, what else do we have in here? Uh, we got our soldiers up in here. We do got our guys. That is great. That is great. Okay, uh, I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get to this stuff right here without uh, my phone's actually uh, about to die. So um, what we'll do here uh, is I'm actually gonna move move uh, move this video over to the bed area if you don't mind. Let's go on a little trip. Uh, we'll put it up on my. Uh, my charger cord here and we'll continue doing this video sorry about that guys my phone is a uh, a little a little almost dead but uh we'll, we'll make do with what we got uh let's see if we can prop you up on something real nice here okay that being said 
let's uh, let me grab some of this other extra stuff over here that we're gonna add to it so what we have left here in this box plus we have this other box that is completely packed full I'm just gonna get everything out of the box here that I know of because we're going to end up having to move all my other gear into a bigger box. Okay, continuing with the video. We have uh, a nice little uh, canteen, a German canteen. Um, D-Day helmet. Another D-Day helmet. Uh, that goes in the bag of shoes. We've got an am ammunition crate, and I don't know what's inside of it. Oh, dude, we got mortars. We're going to have to switch those mortars into this crate. We've got mortars in the crate, man. That is just outrageous. Awesome. We've got um, another canteen. Uh, mesh to go around a hat. Um, we got a German helmet here. Nice German helmet there. Uh, binoculars. That'll go in our gear bag. Uh, along with the canteens and stuff like that. Let's keep that there. Try to keep everything in one category. We got another STN right there. Um, we got an MP40. MP40. We've got another explosive that needs to go into that bag. So that'll be separated over here. Um, we got some extra mag clips for the MP40. Uh, walkie talkie and they're going our comms communication comms we've got a little Waffen SS uh, poster wow man this is just great man we've got a little printout of a, a map we got a little printout of a map there that is so cool man Oh, this is this is just outrageously awesome. Uh, looks like we have something to a flat gun there. We I have have something I can piece that together with there. <clears throat> we have a canteen that'll go in our gear bag. Uh, we've got a uh, Colt 45 pistol that'll go with our weapons. Uh, we got another belt, so that belt will go in the belt bag. And we've got a whole other thing of grenades in here, dude. Like, get out, man. Ah, this is just this is just the best like lot that I have ever seen, man. Like, this is just I'm kind of overwhelmed with all the stuff here because it's like Christmas for me. So let's keep that right there. Um, uh, let's just go ahead and get this part out. So we don't uh, it looks like uh, this was two of something, but this is, we got some extra bullets. We got a belt there. I've oh, got a mag, little mag in there, that plastic piece. Let's set that aside so we don't lose anything. We've got some uh, D-Day boots, so that are going with our shoes. Another canteen, a Thompson. Uh, this looks like this goes to that grenade launcher that we haven't got to yet that we need to get to. Another uh, ammo mag that'll go with our gear, our gear bag there. And uh, looks like we've got some uh, 50 caliber uh, bullets that will go with our weapons there and some of our miscellaneous. Uh, we've got some type of helmet that'll go with that helmet there. We've got uh, another boots, so we go with the boots. We got some grenades, some knives, and another poster here. Uh, just another German poster there from World War II, so that's so nice. That'll go with the others. Uh, more stick grenades, uh, German grenades. Uh, another D-Day. Got that number two on there. Uh, grenades needs to go with the other grenades. Trying to keep all my grenades. I, I like to have everything nice and neat and in order. 
uh, in my personal collection. We got a, uh, a German SS helmet. Uh, comms. Why well, my radio? What do I do with my radio? Okay, we'll set that right there. Uh, that looks like that went to a piece of something there. That looks like that went to a 50 caliber. We'll keep that with the miscellaneous. Uh, another little uh, clip bag there. That'll go with our gear. Um, this looks like we got some knives up in here. So let's get those knives uh, in order right here. So when we do to go dig those out, they'll all be in one section. That'll uh, for right now. That'll go with our gear, just for the time being. Looks like we got some clips, some mags, and uh, some other nice stuff in here. We got some clips and some mags. We'll try to keep that with our our guns and stuff like that. We'll keep our explosives with our explosives. And that pretty much does it for this box right here, guys. We got a little bit of extra gear and some canteens and stuff. We'll get out real quick before we jump into this other humongous box. That's why I'm saying I may have to cut. I may have to cut this into two parts. Um. Looks like we got some uh, more little gear right here. Uh, more gear. A uh, personal little German pistol that they sometimes had to use to uh, commit uh, commit suicide, of course, because they were given that as a small token of uh, one way out, of, uh, just in case if they were captured by uh, U.S. troops. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of uh, Germans uh, ended up having to do so, but... Um, we got a little radio there. Uh, another little nice belt. I want to. I want to organize all my stuff one day, and this is like just added to like the awesomeness of getting my opportunity to do that. Uh, we got some little uh, overalls and stuff like that, and we got the little uh, uh, holster for that little baby pistol right there. So that is just nice, nice gear, gear. Uh, that went to something, so we'll put that in miscellaneous. And one more radio calm for that. And one more gear. And our grenades. Alright, guys, that pretty much does it for this box right here. Um, I may end up having to do this in a part two. Uh, I think I may do this in a part two if we, uh, if we get in a little later in the time. Uh, let's check this box right here. It feels heavy. Uh, it's got some weight to it, so, um, wow, this is packed full. I feel like I'm getting more than what I've seen in the picture, and I am not complaining. This stuff right here is just, wow. we got some boots, man. We got some boots, Axis boots, black boots some 50 caliber rounds that'll go with our miscellaneous over there uh we got a bar browning automatic rifle with the tripod survive looks like to be dragon brand i believe yep dragon uh we got another m1 grand so thankful to always get those we love our m1 grands here and for a first we've got a german mauser Dude, we got a German Mauser up in here. I've never had that in like never. I don't. I don't own one of these. Now I do. Uh, first one for a collection. So that's that's nice. Whoo! Okay, we've got uh, quite a bit here. Um, I think what we'll do, guys, is since there's so much to since there's so much to go over. Um, I'm kind of uh, overwhelmed with stuff around me right now. Um, we'll, we'll try to do what we can here. We'll try to do what we can. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely, uh, get this here. I think we, they, seller may have, uh, included, uh, some stuff here where he gets some of his stuff. Well, that might be him. I don't know. We'll keep this aside right here. Um, we've got a 29th infantry.